This video is specific to the Crowd Preservation Lab protocol used in the tissue culture course at the University of Houston Clear Lake. The cells used today were counted during the Muse Analyzer experiment and their preparation leading up to this point will not be shown. To perform the count on your cells and to ensure you have enough of them for your cryopreservation experiment, please refer to your lab manual. You should have between 1 and 10 million cells per milliliter. Since my final count fell within the recommended range, I spun my cells back into a pellet, removed the media, and resuspended them with 1 milliliter of freeze-down media. The freeze-down media, consisting of the growth media we use in lab, also contains DMSO and will need to be stored and kept cold in between uses. After trituration, I added 1 milliliter of cells and media into a cryotube and placed the tube in the minus 80 degrees Celsius freezer for 24 hours. Try to get your tube into the minus 80 degree freezer as soon as possible because your cells should not be at room temperature in cold media for more than 10 minutes. When opening the liquid nitrogen storage vessel, use both hands to ensure that you do not break the styrofoam lid upon removal. Due to the low temperatures inside the vessel, ice can build up and the lid can get stuck. Once the lid is removed, find the hook for the box you wish to remove and lift a couple inches up to get the box off the platform it sits on. Move the hook to the opposite side of the vessel and slowly lift out of the liquid nitrogen. Keep the box inside the vessel while the liquid nitrogen drains. Once the boxes have almost completely drained, set them on their side over the opening of the storage vessel to remove the remaining liquid. Once dry, remove the pin that keeps the boxes in place and set somewhere that will not be forgotten. Locate and remove the box you wish to place your tube in. Your tube should be sitting on dry ice while waiting for transfer to the box where it will reside. Place your tube into a designated position, annotate it in the notebook, and close the container. Make sure the box is closed completely before you place it back into the liquid nitrogen storage vessel. Once the box is secured back into its place, replace the pin to lock all the boxes in. Quickly lower the boxes back into the liquid nitrogen and push back into place. Make sure the hook is secured in place before placing the lid back on. Once in liquid nitrogen, your cells can remain in this state for as long as they need to. For the purposes of this lab, they will remain cryopreserved for roughly one week before being brought back up. To remove your cells from the liquid nitrogen, follow the same steps you used to place your cells inside of it. Cells should generally be thawed as quickly as possible above room temperature. This is because a slow thawing process can damage cells. As soon as your cells are removed from the liquid nitrogen, immediately place them in the 37 degrees Celsius water bath. Make sure not to submerge the cap while shaking the tube back and forth. The freeze down media contains essential crowd protection agents such as dimethyl sulfoxide to prevent the formation of intracellular and extracellular ice crystals that could damage the cell membrane and components. DMSO does have the drawback of being cytotoxic and therefore cells should be thawed at a speed faster than is possible at room temperature to facilitate the quick dilution and removal of DMSO from the immediate environment of the cells. Once warm, spray with 70% ethanol and bring to the biosafety hood. Remove both the cells and the media from the cryo tube and place them into a 15 milliliter tube with 10 milliliters of fresh media. Spin your cells down to a pellet and remove the media. Resuspend the cells with 10 milliliters of fresh media and transfer to an empty 10 centimeter tissue culture plate.
After 24 hours have passed and the cells have adhered to the plate, remove the media and replace with 10 milliliters of fresh media. This ensures that all DMSO has been removed. In 48 hours, check the cells once more to make sure they are replicating. And that's all for the Cryopreservation Lab. See you soon!